cameo, however brief, by a big-name star is a boost to any movie. How much bigger the boost when stars make a cameo appearance in a not-so-famous person's daily life? David Pogue shows us how it's done. Venture capitalist Mark Suster used to take his kids to see the Philadelphia Eagles play every year. But in the year of COVID, I wasn't able to take them. And so I thought, what could I do that would make them feel special when we're socially isolated? What's up, Jake? This is Brandon Graham. He wound up giving each kid a video. My fingers crossed, too, on us making these playoffs. A man. personal really greeting recorded by actual Eagles players. Whereas I'm telling you, we're going to be back in the Super Bowl again. And so what we did is on Christmas morning, we watched it almost like an unboxing, like watching them and their faces <laughs> lighting up, and it was magical. Crazy. Crazy. So far, he's bought six such videos from Cameo.com. How's it going, Jessica? Lance Bass here. Well, where you Chelsea can pay Hunter famous people. That's right. It's Meatloaf here. To record and, um, personalized videos. And from Ice, Happy Mother's Day. It is the modern day equivalent of an autograph. And what's more intimate than a video where they're talking to you by name, calling out something like your birthday or a holiday? This is Smokey Robinson. I know you didn't expect to hear from me. Over 30,000 celebrities are available in a huge range of prices. Hi, Syra. It's Caitlyn Jenner here. Caitlyn right Jenner here. charges $2,500 per video. And I'm back. David Hasselhoff here because we're not. David the Hasselhoff, $500. The Hoff has spoken. John Warwick, 350. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. Cameo Happens takes a 25% cut. Essentially, the idea is for any talent on earth, you can then pay them to say whatever you want to whoever you want. Stephen Galanis is the CEO and co founder of Cameo. This is Melissa Etheridge. The company's popularity surged hey, during the What's pandemic. That, man, this your man, Steve Harvey. Listen, man. And more celebrities uh, signed up. Every single athlete, actor, celebrity on earth found themselves out of jobs, out of work. So Cameo went from being uh, funny money or from being an insignificant source of people's income to all of a sudden becoming the primary source or the sole source in some cases. Hi, this is Gilbert Gottfried. Cameo has become the primary source of income for comedian Gilbert Gottfried. Hey, you know who I am? And in case you don't know him. Gilbert Gottfried. Yeah, Aladdin. I can't take it anymore. Did you ever see that, Aladdin? I was on Saturday Night Live years ago. Not a good season. But I was on it. Me, shall. He charges $150 per video, and he's made quite a few. I think I've done, uh, I, 8,000? 8,000? Let's see. Jesus. 8,000 times $150 a piece. It's not a bad job. I should have my own island somewhere. (laughs) Why the hell am I wasting time sitting here talking to you? For singer and actress Carrie Hilson, the money isn't the main attraction. When the pandemic hit and I was sitting at home twiddling my thumbs, couldn't go anywhere, couldn't perform, that's when it became extra attractive to me. So you gotta take the good with the bad, happy To reach out to my fans, to engage with them in a new way. My name is Carrie. She gets every conceivable request. Oh my, it's a little bit scary. Uh, Can you give some encouraging words to my 13-year-old. I want you to keep pushing. Or my husband has the biggest crush on you. Can you please just uh, send him some caramel kisses? What sorts of things would you consider not doable? Uh, well, there I get some boyfriend requests. Um... <laughs> Hi, Lisa. It's Kenny G here in my studio. Grammy winner Kenny G has made over 600 cameo videos at $295 a piece. He includes a soprano sax solo in every video. What percent of them would you say are birthday greetings? Oh gosh, I'd say probably 60 to 70%. Really? So I got happy birthday down, bro. He'll deliver your greeting in any language. And if he doesn't know the song you're requesting, he'll learn it. 
I'm getting the impression that you're a little bit of a perfectionist to make these great. I mean, I guess that's the, there's pluses and minuses to that. I mean, you know, a lot of my friends, they tell me, listen, you're no picnic. Now, many of the celebrities on Cameo are, well, how can I put it? Some of them made their last movies or played their last ball games decades ago. Of course we've heard that, but our platform's also populated by a lot of people who we call next. Uh, TikTokers, emerging stars, people who are on shows that will blow up in Netflix in you know, the next two to three months. Have you ever had a, a talent person have reservations because of this thing about I'm shilling myself, I'm prostituting myself, I'm selling myself? I think we used to see that early. When we started the business, direct-to-fan monetization was uh, seen as very taboo. But these days, sites like YouTube and Instagram are making a lot more people famous, just not rich and famous. They're selling merch, they're doing live meet and greets, they're going to Comic-Cons. Direct-to-fan monetization is the future. Cameo has competition, but it does have a healthy head start. It says it's sold over a million videos so far. I'd like to wish all my friends at CBS Sunday Morning a very happy 42nd anniversary. And yes, we bought a Kenny G cameo to commemorate our own celebration. <laughs>